In one of my next videos, I'll be making a foxhole radio. Foxhole radios get their name because they were made from common items by soldiers during World War II. Diodes are critical components for radios. They allow electrical current to flow more easily in one direction than the other. Since modern diodes weren't available to soldiers in World War II, uh, the soldiers came up with inventive ways to create the same effect. Razor blades, which had been blue hardened, were commonly used. The blue oxide layer on the razor can be touched in just the right way to create a homemade semiconductor diode. So here's the diode that I'm working on. It's composed of a razor blade, a piece of pencil lead, a safety pin, and some wires. I'm using the diode tester setting on my multimeter. At this point, I haven't done anything to my razor blade. Uh, it's not blue hardened, and as we can see, uh, the resistance in both directions is uh, about the same. So right now, since there isn't really any rust on the razor blade, uh, it's not acting as a diode. So I need to create some rust on this razor blade. So I'm going to use my pencil torch and heat up the razor blade. So I finally got the diode put back together and I'm going to test it with my multimeter again. In one direction, the resistance is about 1400 kilo ohms, and the other seems to be around 1800 to 1900 kilo ohms. So the resistance overall has gone up in both directions by quite a bit due to the layer of rust. However, the difference between one direction versus the other uh, has increased. This diode seems to have a difference in resistance between the two directions of about 400 kilo ohms. I've tested this diode with a previously made foxhole radio, so I know that it works. These kinds of diodes are very sensitive to the location of the pencil lead and the pressure of the pencil lead. So using a multimeter like this is actually a good way to test the diode in your foxhole radio. That's all that I have for this video. I hope that it was helpful and thank you for watching.